Hello guys. Today we are doing our January manga haul. Um, now this is more than just January. I'm pretty sure this is over the course of like January and December of last year. Um, so there's more here than there normally would be. There's also more here than there normally would be just because um, I've had a really good string of luck lately in uh, used bookstores. Um, as you can probably see here, all of these stickers on all of these books here are all um, pre-owned stickers. Um, so I've got a ton of um, stuff that I was just able to get at a good price. So um, don't think like, oh wow, you bought so much this month. No, not really. This is over the course of like two months and it's bloated because a lot of it was pre-owned. Um, I think we might be starting to get to the point where because I used to be able to find a lot of manga every now and then in used bookstores um, and then like when the pandemic happened and manga blew up uh, obviously it's we're still affected to this day about supply and and vo certain volumes being hard to find and all that kind of thing but eventually that might come back around to where some of these people that got into manga uh, during the pandemic eventually get out of it over the course of the next few years and we start seeing more used manga than ever before um, in used bookstores which just occurred to me as I was setting up for this video so I'm hoping that might be the case but anyway let's see what I got this month starting here we have Beauty and the Feast uh, this volume was good I liked it uh, I think some people are turned off on this manga about the fact that it's clearly a, a book about um Potentially about, you know, a 20-something-year-old a woman, uh, like, having feelings or the high, or for a high school guy, or them perhaps falling in love with each other. I'm into that. I think that's fine. I like it. I think it's cute. And that might not be where the story is going anyway, but even if it is, I'm fine with that because I think it's interesting. So, uh, that was a good, a good volume. Good art, and I still like uh, reading the series. Um, actually, let's go with this one here so we can get some more room. Uh, Goblin Slayer. I haven't read Goblin Slayer in a long time, but I found this volume somewhere, and so I, I don't really know why I picked this up, but I did. So I'm not going to read it yet, but I need to get a couple more volumes because I don't think I have volume two yet, but that there is volume three. My Senpai is Annoying. This one really surprised me. Uh, I liked it a lot. I'm going to be doing a separate video on it hopefully soon. Um, one thing that did stun me that I had no idea about. It's in partial color! Which, boy, it just really makes everything pop. Um, and really just adds a flair to a series that you just don't get hardly ever. So I really enjoyed that. Here's a video that is probably already up on my channel that I've recorded. Um, Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. I waited way too long on this series. I kept looking at the covers, um, but I, I never had a chance to look at it in an actual store. So I didn't get, if, if I was able to go, if I saw this at a store and then flip through it, I definitely would have bought it faster. But I was only looking at it online. But now that I finally have it, I love it. And you can go watch my video about it if you want to know more about that. Uh, Rent a Really Shy Girlfriend. Um, Rent a Girlfriend really starting to wane on me. I'm up to like volume um, like five or so in the main series. And boy, I don't know. I really don't know. But we'll see. But Rent, uh, Rent a Shy Girlfriend, this might maybe, who knows? I might actually like this more than the main series. So we'll see. Um, please tell me Galico-chan. So... Um, I have the first four volumes of this. I made sure to get volume five because um, I don't think we're going to be getting any more Galico. If I had to guess, I don't know if volume six is out yet. And if it isn't, I don't know if it's going to be published because I'm pretty sure the author has been arrested. Which is a shame because this is one of the only other manga I know of that is in partial color. And it's I love it. I love the partial color um, and the art style. So, hey, we might be losing it, but... I made sure to pick up this volume when maybe I wouldn't have just because I wanted to uh, make sure I had that in case they start to disappear, unfortunately. Don't, don't, ooh, ooh, ooh. don't toy with me, Miss Nagatoro, volume eight. Um, Miss Nagatoro is one of my favorite series right now. Um, I'm just loving reading the manga. So I have volumes eight and nine here I've read. Uh, the covers are beautiful and they stand out unbelievably on a shelf. They're so pretty. Um, 
I know some some people don't love Miss Nagatoro, um, and I can I can understand that to a degree if you only like watch the first couple episodes of the anime or only read the first volume or the first few chapters. Even uh, the story gets so much more wholesome as it goes, but those first few chapters are kind of rough. It's like bullying. That's to the point of it just kind of being uncomfortable. So I understand. Uh, here we go. Blood in the Tracks, Volume Seven. I can't even explain this. Uh, another good volume. There's so little dialogue in these in this series that blowing through a volume like this is so fast. And so I really want to know where this is going to end up because I have no idea. We just hit like a really major plot point in that series for sure. Um, the Apothecary Diaries, I just picked these up the other day so I haven't got a chance to read them yet. Um, but one of my fellow um, manga tubers uh, on Twitter... I uh, said so he read the light novel. So I was like, you know what? I've been looking at these for a while. And the next time I went into uh, my local bookstore, they happened to have the first two volumes. So I was like, hey, I think that's a sign. So I'm going to pick up the first two. But I did just pick these up a couple days ago. So I haven't had a chance to read these yet. I've been reading some other stuff. Uh, Steins Gate. Um, this is like a special edition of Steins Gate. It's the complete manga. And it's a special Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Um, I'll have to decide... Uh, here if I'm going to um, try and get the normal edition. I don't even know what the normal edition looks like, but for now um, I do have that edition of the manga. Going right along, a couple of these might have been in my last haul, but I don't know which is which because some of them showed up super late. Um, so all of the um, Chainsaw Man I ordered finally, finally showed up so I can finally start reading these. Um, I've been reading Spy Family instead of these, so I haven't started these yet, but I know it's really popular, so I am excited to um, finally get in on them. I think they had sent me like volume like one and like four or something. So I don't know which of these I had showed in the previous haul, but I figured I'd just grab them all because um, I had them all together and I really don't remember which ones um, were in the video previously. And I do have some more volumes of Spy Family now. Um, I have, I had the first four volumes and I am currently reading volume five. I'm really enjoying it. Um, definitely a breath of fresh air. I, I had this weird feeling with Spy Family where when the, I loved the first volume to death and I still like the series. But I feel like I should be liking it more than I am, and I'm trying to figure out why. I think it's because I don't know if I like the actual overlaying plot of, like, you have to get close to this guy. This Sorry about that, my camera doid. But anyway, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm really liking Spy Family, but I, it's, it's, I don't love it as much as I think I could. But it's still good, so I still really enjoy reading it. All right, so... not. A lot of what's left is our big, huge pile of pre-owned stuff. So let's just, um, I think, get right into it. Um, Record of the Greatest War, Volume 1. Now, what's funny is I had fo found Volume 3 used, but I didn't realize it was Volume 3. I thought it was Volume 1 when I bought it. And I went, oh, well, that's kind of unlucky. I literally found Volumes 1 and 2 used. So that's that really funny kind of uh, a luck you get sometimes when you're buying... Uh, buying you so that was that was cool uh pre-owned volume of black cat i've almost got the whole thing now let's see where is black cat behind me looking looking this is viz f right here so i'm still missing 13 and 15 and then that's it so we have 14 anyway to help us get a little bit closer the promised neverland volume six Comey Can't Communicate. I love these books to death. I really do. I just, I will never get over them. This is one of those series where it's kind of hard for me because I wonder, do I like wait to buy them and hope that there will be a box set someday? But I don't think I will. I think I'll just buy them and if a box set ever comes out, I'll have to make a decision about it then. So this is what I thought was a pretty good find, um, honestly. Um, so we have Code Geass, Lelouch the Rebellion Knight. Official comic anthology for girls. So some of these can be really hard to come by. I'm really disappointed that I missed like I missed out on some of the um, the Queens ones. I only have two of them, which I don't know how that's possible. I think Barnes and Noble, which was the store I bought all my manga at, went out of business right when those were releasing. So I think I ended up missing some of those, unfortunately, because of that, and I never was able to get them again. But the first three volumes of Night, I think is pretty cool. I don't know how hard to get those are, but I saw them used and I was like, that seems like a pretty good volume. I'm going to grab them. 
Now here we just have a huge stack, a huge stack of yen press, uh, not yen press, of seven seas manga. So let's just blast through some of these. Most of these were like between um, like probably four and five dollars uh, a piece. So some really good use prices on these. Um, so a whole nice pile of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I had volumes one, five, and seven. So someone brought in volumes two through like eight or nine. So I have volume two, volume three. Oh, sorry. See, I hate this. My my battery died, and now the sun has like changed and is like messing me up. All right, I'll see if that's a little bit better. Uh, volume four. I haven't got a chance to read a lot of this big stack yet. Um, I've really been on a reading frenzy lately, and I've been blasting through a lot of my backlog, but this did not help. So that was volume six. Here's volume eight. And then, okay, so it was, so it was only through eight, but they did have um, Dragon Maid, Kana's Daily Life, volumes one and two as well. So thank you to whoever decided to bring those to the used bookstore. That was really awesome. So that was a really good find. I've never even heard of this series before. Mythical Beast Investigator. So I got volumes one and two of that. I'm, I'm surprised I've never heard of it before because it doesn't look very old. Um, it's at the $12.99 price point, so a little older, but nothing super old by any means. Um, Hitomi Chan is Shy with Strangers, volume one. Uh, this is one I was really excited to find. Um, it kind of looks like it might be in the vein of that Komi, uh, all those rom-com ones, or Nagatoro that I've really liked reading lately. So I'm going to read this one really soon. I hate that I haven't read this whole stack, but I got so many at once that I just haven't had a chance to blast through it. Um, my room is a dungeon rest stop. I got volumes one through, th one through three of these. Sorry if I'm going a little quick on these. I just don't know how much more uh, my battery's going to last. So I'm just kind of getting through these and then uh, you guys will get the gist. I can't say as much about these because I haven't had a chance to read them yet. So, um, but yeah, I was like, maybe I should try and like read these before I, but I, I, I bought so many that used books that there was no way I was getting through this pile. So I'm like, well, we'll do the video and then I'll, I'll work through the, the backlog on my own. But I have been on a tear lately. I've been reading a lot of manga. So I had volume one of Yuna and the Haunted Hot Spring. So this is a really good haul. Now you'll notice that some of the rarer volumes are missing, which I was so disappointed in. I don't know if someone beat me to them or what, or if they just didn't have them. But we have Yuna Hot Spring volume two. Someone must have beat me to them because they had so many of them. Um, volume three. Now four and five are the hard ones to find. And I'm not going to go spend extra money for them right now. Here's volume six. Uh, because I just really believe that Yen Press will, uh, Yen Press, Seven Seas, will be printing more of these. Like, this is an ongoing series that's still printing. They'll print more of them at some point, so I'm not too fussed about it. So, here's Volume 8, Volume 9, I don't think these really have much on the back to show. Yeah, there's not much going on there. Volume 10, boop. Volume 11. I don't know if I've read volume one yet, but now that I have all these volumes, um, I'm, I'm going to, this is what, um, what will I read first? There's a couple things in here I'm going to read first, but I'm going to start banging through these really soon. This is pretty high up on the list. And then rounding off with volume 13. Unfortunately, they didn't have 14 either, which is the other volume that's really hard to come by right now. But like I said, uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think that will get a, uh, more prints at some point. All right, guys. Sorry, the lights got a little messed up. Um, the uh, the battery dying really kind of uh, messed me up there. But um, that'll do it for this manga haul video. Thank you so much for watching. Be on the lookout for um, some first impression review stuff from this pile because I've been really into reading lately. I've really kind of got my manga mojo back. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the prowl next time. See ya.